Amy, welcome to the show. Good morning. Good Thank morning. You. You're, you're the perfect candidate for a total stranger, and you're uplifting, and you're cool, and you're producing, <laughs> you're a player. All right, I love it. So, so I'm glad we have a couple minutes to talk. Actually, we have 15 minutes. But, um, so, you're from Los Angeles? No. No, I'm from no. Atlanta. Atlanta. I love Atlanta. I used to live on Buford Highway. Oh, wow. I learned how to ski on Lake Lanier. And I love the women of Atlanta. Absolutely. We are the peaches of the world. There you go. So you are a producer, sounds like. Yes. During the day and night, I'm a stripper. Oh, and a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. <laughs> and my stripper name is Fluffy Delight. Fluffy. Yeah. How are you doing, Fluffy? I'm doing fine. So what uplifting advice do you have for people that want to get into stripping? <laughs> If you're going to be a heavy stripper, it's one thing that you have to have. You have to go in and speak to the manager, and you have to get a telephone pole. Because the regular pole is not going to hold you. Gotcha. And you have to have a shellac so that you don't get splinters in your thighs. Yeah, you don't want splinters. No, you don't want those. So that's my one advice. And heavy girls don't take ones. We start at five. Oh, so, so, so there's money in this then? Yes. It's a money-making deal. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't tell anybody I do it at night. Nobody really knows my secret money. So how are you as a cook? As a cook, I'm pretty good. I'm from the South, so... What's your favorite meal? For me to cook or for someone to prepare for me? That you, your last meal? Uh, actually, my last meal was at the Stinky Rose in Los Angeles. Uh -huh. so because, as you can see from the card I just handed you, I'm producing a show called Cooking Styles of the Rich and Famous. Right. And we have a celebrity cook their favorite meal. And if they can't cook, that's okay. They can invite their mother or their sister or, or a famous chef to help them. And it's all for charity. Oh, okay. And, and everything on the show is for sale. It's a product placement show. Oh. The food, the clothes we're wearing, the uh, all the sponsors' products. And uh, it's been fun. We had three episodes so far. And so what celebrities have you had on? Uh, well, the first one was Angelica Bridges, who is an actress, um, playmate, not a stripper, um, on Baywatch, and she's a singer and an entertainer. The second was Bruce Fine, a comedian. And the third was um, a prince from Germany, and he cooked schnitzel on a yacht, and the yacht was for sale. So that was pretty cool. But the big celebrity we have coming up is um, John Paul DeJoria. No, you already had the big celebrity here. That's me. Well, we, we, that's what we said. We're going to have you on the show. Okay. And uh, and you're gonna invite your friends, and we supply everything, the booze, the food, and uh, you can talk about your projects, your passions, your politics, whatever you want, and we all have fun. One thing that makes me a successful stripper is that I don't drink on the job. Oh. I only do coke. Okay. Coca Cola. Coca Cola. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Keep it clean, Eric. Right. 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 <laughs> Yeah, it's fun, you know. I mean, you gotta have fun in life. But in, in, in whenever you do something, you should do for good. So I like supporting charities. You know, I have a charity for veterans called Supporting Our Servicemen. That's how I came up with the show. But then I realized that we need to support the, the, the celebrity charity because the kind of celebrities we're getting share, you know, all the big names. They're not going to support my charities per se. They, they're more interested probably in supporting their charity. All right, so. That's, so we're going to support their favorite charity on each episode. And, and John Paul DeJoria is the next big star we, we got coming up. You know the guy who, um, Paul Mitchell here? Absolutely. Sold Patron last uh, month for $5 billion. He's got, he's got a, a little bit of pocket change in him. Just a little. Yeah, so um, what, do you, uh, what is your passion in life? Producing television. Do you have a hit that I've seen? I have a couple hits, but I don't know if you've seen any. I do a lot of... Uh, Programming. Okay. So my favorite show, uh, well, I have a lot of favorite shows, but I've done um, Sunday Best, which is a gospel music competition show. Okay. That is no longer on the air, but it should be. It was a great show. Uh, and um, I do a plethora of award shows, and now I'm in the process of doing my own show. Oh, good. So everything is, is good. The neighborhood. That's great. 
So you're heading off to San Diego. I'm going to San Diego to see my good friend Nicole. Okay, cool. She lives there. Um, see, I have girlfriends, all good friends, uh -huh. and they each have a different role in my life. Okay. Um, like let's say like Tracy is my girlfriend. Right. Um, Tara is my woman. Right. Melanie is my side piece. Nicole, who I'm going to see now, is my distant lover. Okay. Um, Vivian, who I've known the longest, is my bottom bitch. And then I have a white girl, Jen. Oh, you threw in a white one there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta cover all the, the gamut. And then my husband is okay with all my girlfriends. Oh, well, of course he would be. Yeah. Why, why, wouldn't, why, why wouldn't he be? Yeah, because it's all platonic, but you know, they're still my girls. So, yeah. Since I'm on the West Coast, I gotta see my distant lover. There you go. And we're gonna go and do damage on our husband's credit cards today. I'm sure she's picking me up and we're gonna go shopping. Shopping, shopping. Our husbands don't like it that much when we get together because we do the, our most two favorite things we shop and gamble. Shop and gamble. <laughs> we shop and You're a gambler. Not really. Only when I get with my distant lover. Oh, okay. She's my only girl that, that gambles. See, all my girls got to do something different. Like, yeah. Tracy's my only one that smokes. Right. Um, like I said, Vivian's the one I've long, known the longest. So, you know, everybody plays their position very well. And they all get along whenever we can get together. Okay. Yes. So, do you have a, a big social following? Like, um, Actually, social media? Actually, you're not going to believe this. I am a prehistoric dinosaur when it comes to social media. I have no, no, no social media. Nothing. I'm not interested. Well, isn't that how you promote your shows, though? No. Yeah. I have somebody no, does. Yeah, somebody does. But I have no social media. I'm not that important. The okay. only somebody I'm following is Christ. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes, I, I don't. I don't care to know who. Is doing what? I don't care. I don't. I'm not interested. Everybody calls me a dinosaur. I don't care. Well, I'm I think I think Facebook is nothing but a bragging uh, a platform. Oh, look where I'm at. Look what I'm doing. Look what I'm eating. You know. Yeah, I have no interest in none of that. I'm not that important to anybody but myself. And I don't want to post a picture or a comment about your picture that you put. You don't like that I say it's unflattering, but you showed me the shit. <laughs> if you give it to yourself, right, right. I wouldn't say it was unflattering. Right. So I just don't want to, I don't have time for it. Plus, when they come to get all of those people who are on social media, they won't be able to find me. I don't know who the hell they are, but Tracy, my friend, said they're coming. <laughs> she knows, right? Of course Tracy knows. She knows where all the doors are on the highway, of all the walls that they're building. Uh-huh. Okay. So, um, if someone comes to Atlanta, what's the, what's what should they experience in Atlanta? They should definitely see the world of Coca Cola. Oh, is that where Coke's from? Atlanta. Atlanta. They should definitely see the MLK um, Memorial. That's Dr. Martin Luther King. Right. Um, they should definitely eat some soul food. They're in the South. Busy Bee or. Uh, Housewives of Atlanta there. Yeah, they are. Do you, do you know them? Everybody knows them. They're on TV. Do you, you watch the show? Uh, you don't have to admit it. It's okay. No, not really. <laughs> I don't watch that show. Um, and then you have to uh, go to Stone Mountain. And you have to go to the aquarium. And we have a, a black female mayor by the name of Keisha. No, she's a sister. And um, it's a very beautiful city. You'll love it because it's so progressive, especially for African Americans. Um, it's just, uh, it's a peach. <laughs> Georgia it's a peaches. Peach. Georgia peaches. Yeah, but beware. Some of the peaches have worms. Well, Amy. It's been great having you on uplifting interviews with total strangers. Uh -huh. It was a blast. Thanks for 
having me and thank you for getting me to the airport on time. There you, you go. You rock. <laughs> thank you.